Hey Feasters and welcome to episode 219. Today I'm going to give you three very small yet powerful tactics to improve your sales process as a freelancer. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to the Ask Res Podcast. I'm Jason and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. If you are looking to improve your sales process as a freelancer, as a web developer, as a designer, a marketer, this episode's for you. These three small impactful tweaks to your process will get you more leads, more clients, and learn more about your business than you could ever imagine. So let's just dive right into the first one. First one is, is find out how close those who are sitting on the fence are to closing with you. This is something that is normally best done over the phone or on a face-to-face -face meeting. It's much harder to do over an email because you really wanna be able to gauge the response immediately. If someone says to you, I need to think about this or any variations of that, right? It could be, I need to go back to so-and-so to get approval on this, or I need to, th I'm talking to a few other people about this project and I want to just find out what their estimates are. So whatever that, whatever that response to you is, respectfully respond with empathy on the decision-making process and then follow up by just asking them what it's going to take. You could do this by simply asking, hey, on a scale of one to 10, one being that we're never gonna do this project together, or 10, let's do this right now, where are you? Anytime I do this, it's usually a seven or eight, so it's pretty close. I follow up with awesome. What do I have to do to make it a 10 for you? And they're gonna tell you, they usually do. It could be a money thing, it could be a timeline thing, but quite often, surprisingly more times than not, it's something that they just don't understand. It could be just a part of the process, it could be part of the deliverables, just something that I need to clarify that pushes them over to the 10. The second thing is you, you wanna add in a tactic to get more leads to your business with your current clients. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't tried this tactful tactic myself, but I've heard others do it pretty successfully. So that's why I'm sharing it here because one, it makes sense to me on why it works. And two, on the back end of it, I think it is worth it. Now, when you get a brand new client, before you present your proposal to them with the price on there, ask if they want to get X dollars off on the project your arbitrary figure, whatever makes sense for you. When they say yes, because they're going to, then explain to them, awesome, at the end of the project, if you can refer the names of five other people who could use my services, I'll apply that discount. Now, you know that I'm not a fan of discounting, but like I said, I could see this being a pretty successful campaign because even if you landed 10% of the referrals, that would totally cover your costs of that discount. The third and final strategy is you reaching out to new people. For example, every single day, reach out to a business or to someone who could be your target client on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or your platform of choice by using a quick private message to say very quickly that you admire something they're doing and then something that you do and how you can add value to what they are already doing. It'll go a long way if you set, I don't know, at three o'clock PM, this little exercise for yourself to do. See, the thing is, it's just a small little token, right? But it's a personal outreach to one business. If you do this every single day for an entire quarter, and only close 5% of those leads. Now, 5%, that's terrible, right? You'll have four brand new clients every single quarter. If you continue to do this over the course of a year, you'll have 18 brand new clients this year. I think you'll agree that these three things aren't 
hard to do at all. You can go ahead in the next three minutes, put one of these into your process and you can't beat it, right? You can't beat that time spent. The ROI on just these small little tweaks will make the difference. I'd love to know which one you're going to try first. In fact, why don't we do this? Just came to me. Why don't we do this? Tweet me at Rez on Twitter with a one, two, or three, or multiples of them even, and throw in the hashtag AskRez with three Zs, just so I could spot it. If you were doing the one to 10 rating, put a one. If you were doing the referral discount, put a two. If you were doing the DM per day, put a three. I can't wait to see how successful you are. And let's all help each other. I'd love to hear the story of when you put this in place and when the difference was made. If you got some value out of this episode and the show over the past year, how about starting this year off by providing me an honest rating and review in iTunes? I do read each and every single one, and it helps to hear you and your voice to know that what I'm doing is helpful for you. Until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.